computer science student at ELTA. Today I'm here with Mr. Gera Zoltan. He is the university researcher and the lecturer um, at the Department of Programming Languages and Compilers in the Informatics Faculty of ELTA. Thank you very much for joining me today for this interview. Let's start with a simple question. So could you tell us a little bit more about what you studied for university and why you chose to study this? What attracted you to this field? Actually I was back in secondary school asking some intimidating questions to my math teacher and she couldn't reply. I was back then already starting some computer development stuff, coding, and, uh, and I was always asking questions that my teacher just was unable to answer. Mm -hmm. So I, I had, had the you know, inside motivation to come here and study and uh, to be honest, the first couple of years it just kept on, so I, I had to. I, I felt that I have to go into research to actually get answers to my questions. Oh, that's very and that's, interesting. That's why I came, ended up here. So I know you're involved in many researches right now in the university. Could you tell us more about those researches, what they are, and explain them in simple words? Yeah, of course. I uh, got to know about several different areas. So just a couple of them, which I'm active right now. One is the uh, security. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we are making uh, automated uh, software to catch security problems in, mm -hmm. in, in, in code, basically helping developers. Security is always an important stuff, so it's really uh, an interesting topic. Uh, there is another project of mine regarding uh, digital signal processing. Uh, it's uh, connected to music recognition and audio uh, technology. Mm -hmm. And we are also active in a project which is more a bit of a social kind of project where we are basically uh, launching a new uh, open source uh, Fediverse based social network. Oh. Uh, basically to help the students connect with each other. That's very, very interesting. Thank you. Um, so I know that you became a university lecturer and a researcher, but this is not the only career path for graduates of computer science. Could you tell us more about other career paths that people can take after finishing their studies in this field? The, the, the main career path is possibly to go to a big company. Mm -hmm. Many, many people do that and in fact it's quite easy to you know, reach a high uh, level with the, with the knowledge you get here quite fast. But uh, more and more people realize that uh, the value of small companies and startups and mm -hmm. uh, the challenges they get probably more work, a bit less money, but much bigger motivation, let's say. Mm -hmm. There are people who realize after several years of, of, uh, of experience that they want research, they want to do some kind of innovation, which mm -hmm. is science active innovation, and that's what, what uh, people sometimes come back to the university after several years, like I did. So. Do you think it's important to study abroad, and if so, why? Have you ever studied abroad yourself, or have you taught abroad? And do you have some memories, maybe from that time, which are which you can share with us today? Uh, well, tricky question. I've been abroad, but only for shorter amounts of time. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, when I was a student. Okay. But what I think is that, to be honest, I hate to be a tourist. <laughs> and I, I think that you need to live somewhere mm -hmm. in order to understand what's happening there, the people, the culture, the way they associate themselves with science and everything. And that's why I strongly suggest everyone to try it out and, and, and go to places and, and spend time there with the locals, with their professors, uh, extracurricular activities and stuff like that. This is really important and I think that every single student who came back from such journeys became more 
uh, motivated. Could you explain what it's like to work with international students? What is it like to teach them? <laughs> Well, it's uh, really interesting. I, to be honest, I really enjoy uh, working with international students because they are obviously much more colorful than, than, than the local Hungarians here. Uh, they have very different problems mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, a big part uh, of, of working with them is to have them realize how different uh, background they have. Yeah. Uh, I always felt to be honest, we have actually experience about that, that those projects which are uh, international, made up of international students, are much more successful. At first they have communication issues, obviously, but at the end uh, the approach, the overall uh, result in the product, of course we are talking about software products here, is usually a much better marketable product at the end. So. Uh, to be honest, I'm active also to work on, uh, you know, bringing together the Hungarian and, and the international students as much as possible in such projects. And this is basically happening. Could you tell us how long have you been teaching at ELTE and um, why is it so good to teach here <laughs> exactly? Since I came back, I, am, uh, I started to teach six years ago, mm -hmm. but before that, I had a history also <laughs> teaching here and what I enjoy the most is the fact that I can influence uh, positively so many people's lives Yes. and not just the lives of the people but actually the local companies who can uh, you know, bring better products and, and, and better solutions uh, to anyone. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and this kind of uh, work is uh, at least a couple of times in a year is really rewarding. <laughs> so it does make sense on the long run to do yeah. that. And lastly, what do you think the student's life is like in Budapest? Um, and why do you think so many international students out of so many other countries come and study in Hungary? Well, uh, I, what I see on international students is that they are always positively uh, amazed Mm -hmm. by Budapest and, and basically the country. I guess our press is much worse than uh, what, what is it like to live here. <laughs> and uh, and um, uh, what I also see is that uh, usually they enjoy being in an international kind environment. Of, uh, environment. <laughs> yes. uh, the city definitely a 24 around the clock kind of city is, uh, you know, for young people it's really good. <laughs> To, to have fun and, and there are a lot of opportunities around the city. Uh, so I guess that the scientific, uh, research intensive, university activities are quite helped out nicely with the with city's uh, ability to, you know, have a lot of extracurricular activities mm -hmm. around the clock, basically. And that this is what I see on most of the students, especially those who never lived in Europe before, mm -hmm. many of them just love uh, the, the whole scenario and they start to think in Europe on the long time. Yeah, I think that's the same with me. I think this concludes our interview for today. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, I hope you didn't mind the questions. Not at all. Thank you very much. Thank you.